Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing week. Today was the last day of the trading week, which is a little bit shortened because of Martin Luther King Day on Monday. And we only got one full week left of trading in the market. And today was a real good one. And something I always like to do on a good trading day is obviously we want to celebrate because we got a lot of green. But let's look at the things that didn't do so well. So I'm looking here, and this really helps me paint a picture. So we have money coming out of some oil, some Coca-Cola, bottling company, and Ingalls Market, which is a diversified uh, food market chain in the southeast. They have lots of locations uh, throughout the southern part of the country. Also, Procter & Gamble was down a little bit. Pepsi the regular Coca-Cola, and Berkshire Hathaway was up a little, a good bit today. And the reason I like to do this is because it just tells me, helps me tell a story. Um, we want to learn from the things that aren't doing well. Um, it's very easy to lose yourself when things are going up. It's just like, hey, everything's going up. I must be a genius. Well, uh, that sometimes can be the case and sometimes cannot. Um, so it's always smart to see like what's doing well, what's not doing well. And ultimately, I mean, we're entering into what seems like a retrace period, meaning things could pull back, even if they pull back 10, 15%. I mean, everything went up so much last year. It doesn't even really matter. Um, what I'm, I'm interested in is like, dude, Microsoft's at 398, Adobe, 611 Home Depot 362 Salesforce creeping up. Um, we even have DR Horton reaching new highs. Um, Arch Resources they do a lot of in the coal to make steel. Um, I think they hit 190 today. And whatever it's always tempting to sell, and that's the hard part is not selling. And the thing is, what you got to realize is a stock can literally go up in value forever. It can only go down so much. And that's something that Mr. Buffett and Mr. Munger have done a phenomenal job of, is just buying and not selling. Um, I know, like, reviewing Berkshire Hathaway, they owned Coca-Cola um, a long time ago, and Coca-Cola's price-to-earnings ratio hit, like... A, it was like 60, 70, or 80, something really stupid for their company. And they didn't sell. They should have sold and bought more, but they didn't. They just held, and then they ended up, I think, buying some more. But, I mean, ultimately, you know, sometimes it's a little painful when you're like, oh, man, I should have sold and bought more. But it's just much easier on your psyche to just hold good companies, read the news about them, see what's going on, and then make subtle adjustments rather than trying to shift change from your left pocket to your right pocket, from your right pocket to your back pocket, and then from your back pocket to your shirt pocket. It's just it's just too difficult. So, I mean, reviewing things here, I mean, ultimately, Occidental Petroleum is uh, getting down to this 5548 level. Uh, Ingalls Market as well hit over 85, and it touched the 88. Um, I still like that company. Um, obviously it was at a hundred back in the end of 2022 and 2023 was a down year for them, but ultimately, um, very good fundamentals there. Coke. I mean, I was expecting this one to pull back. I mean, I'm expecting everything to pull back. I mean, as you can see here, it got up to like 950 down like a hundred bucks, um, or so, which, you know, not a big deal because it's not a, nothing in the portfolio here is, scaring me. And that's where you want to be. You want to have that margin of safety. So we want to have that margin of safety in cash. You know, we have CDs, we have treasury bills, uh, things of that nature. Um, and then still watching U.S. Steel here as a little uh, arbitrage opportunity to make a about 10 to 13% if that deal goes through at $55 a share. So not going to get rich off those deals on those arbitrage opportunities. However, if you find one or two of those a year, um, I know last year the big one was Activision Blizzard. We bought it in like the 70s and it got acquired at 95. So that was a nice one. And also, the reason we own Microsoft is they made that acquisition. Other than that, um, 
we're just going to see what happens with interest rates. Interest rates get cut a little bit. We get some good growth. Um, we could be entering into a good market, but neither myself or anyone really knows what's going to happen. So thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want to do. I just hope you find this valuable. And I just want to share what I know with the world to educate people on the best ways to grow their wealth. Bye, guys. We'll see everyone next time. Bye, guys, woman, whomever. <laughs> thanks. Bye.